today? Yeah, well, I'm here today um, in large part because I have asthma, so I'm very concerned about um, air pollution problems, and I'm also concerned about you know future generations' reactions to those environmental problems. Um, I definitely don't want my kids to have to suffer from air pollution in the same way that I do. My name is Abby Fenton, and I'm the Youth Programs Director for the Will Steger Foundation. And I'm proud to be here today at the Minnesota State Capitol for our fourth annual Youth Lobby Day in partnership with MPERG, the Minnesota Youth Environmental Network, and YAMIN, a program of the Will Steger Foundation. I think it's really important that high schoolers be here in particular because um, we're not able to vote yet, and we also go to high schools rather than colleges, so it's often harder for us to you know, organize among ourselves. And we're also um, often much more intimidated by like the political system or the idea of organizing large groups. Um, or whatever you have. Right now we have over 80 kids inside from across the state, high school students, college students, learning about the issues um, and getting prepared to lobby their legislators for a clean and just energy future in Minnesota. And then really fast, why do you care about energy? MPERG is here today really to articulate our vision for our energy future as youth. We're here lobbying on a 10% solar standard and a 40% renewable energy standard. We as youth um, are the people who are going to be inheriting these policies so we want to make sure that we are telling our legislators that, that we can do better. It's their solar energy. This impacts their future and that this is something that uh, future generations want. This is the technology they, they want. It's their technology. It's not their father's coal plant. What a solar energy standard is, it's really, it's a market. It's a 10% of our power by 2030 would be a market. Companies would come in and sell products in our state and by creating that market, the prices come down dramatically. It creates a funding mechanism so it'll make it easier for homeowners, businesses, and other folks in our state to be able to install solar. Last week we saw over 40,000 people in D.C. calling on President Obama to move forward on climate issues and this week we have over 100 people here at the Capitol calling on our leaders to do the nitty gritty with that and get the put the rubber to the road in making an impact on these issues and addressing climate change. This is a 40% by 2030 renewable energy standard. It's essentially a requirement um, that utilities procure a certain amount of their electricity from renewable technologies uh, by 2030. We have an incredible wind resource that's capable of developing um, over several times over what we actually use in electricity in Minnesota and we have an incredible solar resource as well. And so we need to move towards developing those technologies and then reaping the economic benefits and the jobs that come from that. I think it's really important that high schoolers be at the Capitol today um, just so that we can make sure that we have our voice heard even if we can't even vote yet um, and know that we're definitely empowered to you know make a difference in our political system regardless of our age.